right, boys and girls, remember I told you I was gonna show you another way of doing your spider web so that you had, if you didn't have some of the materials at home. Also, I don't want you not be able to do some of these art lessons because you don't have something at home. So some, the materials will be in the front office. Um, I know with the spider web on the paper towel, I put paper towels, wax paper, and paper up in the office for you guys to come and grab. I will try to also put some paper plates up there. These are just the regular, the, the paper plates that just nothing but paper. So you need one of these if you choose to, decide, to do this activity. Um, you're gonna get one paper plate. And so I'm gonna flip it over because right now I don't want to have this kind of bowl shape where it kind of curves. So I'm gonna take that out and just try to rub it. Make sure your hands are clean because then if not, you'll get stuff on your paper plate. On the front side where it was, where you would normally eat at, I'm gonna go ahead and write my name. So put your name on your plate or if you're by yourself and you don't have anybody uh, to worry about getting it mixed up with, you don't have to. Now I flipped it over and remember I've been flattening it out, trying to get it so it doesn't um, create a kind of bowl shape. I want it as flat as possible. Um, now we're gonna get started. I'm gonna use a pencil and some glue, just like I did on the paper towel art, if you looked at that one, and I'm gonna create my radial line. So I'm gonna create my center point that I'm gonna be working from. It does not have to be big. Then I'm gonna use radial lines that I create coming from that center point and going to the edge of my plate. If you want to, you can use a ruler. I'm not gonna use a ruler and I'm also not gonna use a Sharpie on this one. I'm just gonna use the pencil. So I'm gonna make straight lines as best as possible. I would suggest probably using a ruler, but again, if you don't have one, you don't have to, just try to make them as straight as possible. Again, you can see I'm coming from that center point and I'm just coming straight out to the edge of my plate. And as I do it, I'm gonna rotate the plate. Don't try to rotate yourself, boys and girls. That makes it really difficult on you. So again, just trying to make them as even as possible. And I'm gonna come around and create radial lines. Now, I said we're gonna be creating a spider web. And this is not done. This looks more like a color wheel right now with minus the color, it just broken up, or a pizza. So I'm going to create my other lines right now in between these lines. So I'm gonna use a curved line, like a frowny face, going around my web. So when I create, I'm gonna go from one line to the other, and you can see I just created that curved line. Like I said, it looks like a frowny face. It's away from the center point. So I'm gonna go around and I wanna make sure that I always touch these two lines on the outside and also connect. So you see I'm gonna start here where that other line finished and I'm gonna come and make a curved line. I'm gonna go and rotate my plate and I'm gonna make another curved line. My goal is to go all the way around and come back to this one. So I'm going to do a curved line and come back up to my line. Again, making frowny faces. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'm gonna go all the way around, creating that circle so that I eventually get back to my original starting point. So I'm gonna come back and notice that I touch and I connect, making it a closed in circle. If I flip my lines and I make them this way, it's gonna look more like a flower when I'm done and I don't want it to look like the flower, I want it to look like a spider web. So the next line, I'm gonna start again and I'm gonna make about two finger spaces, maybe three, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure I make a frowny face with a curved line, it should not be straight. But then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna make sure I create that curve. This one didn't, I kinda should have done a little more curve to it, but I'm gonna come in here and again, I'm gonna create curved lines. You wanna make sure that you're not too close to these because when we go to do our glue, it'll the glue will get in one big mess and you'll have like a pool of glue. So I'm gonna come back and again, curved frowny faces 
and I'm just rotating my plate to help it easier on me. I'm gonna take this one and I have to come back to this one so that I close in that circle. We don't want it to keep going in a spiral because we didn't connect. I'm gonna do one more circle. Again, I'm gonna make a big gap in there and I'm gonna make a curved line, frowny face, big frowny face. Then I'm gonna do my next one, connecting to these lines. You wanna make sure that you close it in. And again, I'm gonna go around my plate, rotating it as I work. All right, boys and girls, I have finished making my lines and I actually only ended up making three circles by the time I was done. If you're making more than that, you probably wanna look at you're making too many lines and that your glue is gonna pull together. So now I said we are gonna use our glue and we're just gonna trace all our lines so that we can use it next week with our watercolors. So I'm just gonna take my glue and gently squeeze. I don't wanna squeeze too hard because then I'm gonna end up with big old pulls of glue again or my line's not straight. So I just made a line, but then I pick up my glue, I stop squeezing the bottle, and then I put it down again and I go straight down. I'm gonna go ahead and create my lines that are radiating from that center point, at least a few of them. But then I'm gonna come back in and notice that I'm keeping my glue bottle up. I'm not putting it down, my hand's not down, because you don't wanna drag your hand through that glue, boys and girls. And I'm also picking up my glue with each line. Pick up, I'm gonna pick up. That way I'm not just trying to make a complete circle with the glue and it ends up messy. So I'm gonna go around and finish all my lines and I'll be back with you to do all the right. next step. I have finished tracing all my pencil lines. I don't wanna pick up my paper plate now because if I do, my glue's probably gonna run. And we wanna keep our lines as straight as possible from what we've done. And so I'm gonna leave my plate exactly where it is or I'm gonna move it somewhere where that it can dry laying flat. We're gonna need these again for the following week to complete our art pro or to continue with our art project. If you don't have one of the materials at home, I do have paper plates and up in the office. So if you need to come and get one, you can come and pick up a paper plate. Thank you.